South Ark Spotlight is brought to you by Maxwell Hardwood Flooring. Maxwell Hardwood Flooring, located in Monticello, has been producing quality, solid, and engineer hardwood flooring for over 28 years. The company and sister companies, Washita Hardwood and Townsend Inc. in Warren, are proud to be providing American-made flooring to distributors and retailers from coast to coast while serving our local communities right here at home. Maxwell Hardwood Flooring, your best start for a great finish. Okay, Dr. Marquez, can you can you tell me a little bit, bit about your role here at the Bradley County Medical Center? Uh, uh, my name is Dr. Joe Francis Marquez. I'm a general surgeon here at Bradley County Medical Center. This is where we do some uh, outpatient clinic for surgery for patients that uh, are sent to us by the primary care providers for several pro uh, problems or several several wellness issues that need to be checked mainly what we do most of the time now are endoscopies colonoscopies uh, for screening for colon cancer um, just to add on a little bit to that we you know that uh, our area is a colon cancer hotspot so if you've been here 20 30 years uh, all your life you know you got to have that colonoscopy done at some point from uh, from the age of 50 that was a 50 years old was a recommendation for for colonoscopy. Um, that was five years ago. They they sort of upgraded that to 45 years uh, years old now because they've, they're seeing younger patients in here. But um, so that's one of the things that we do: uh, colonoscopies for wellness, and of course your hernias. We fix those. Um, appendicitis. I've done some uh, patients who came in with appendicitis here as well in some minor lumps and bumps in some uh, uh, some of those issues too yeah can you can you explain the process how does a patient arrive to your door so um the primary care providers in the area like dr pennington dr george uh, dr wharton they're the ones that see these patients first in our area and they're the ones that determine uh, if they need somebody like me uh, to provide care and so after being seen by the primary care providers that's when they're sent to us in the surgery clinic every Tuesday so that I could evaluate and if need be do something for the patient to address the problem uh, can, can you tell me a little bit about your background where'd you go to school where are you from yeah I, I, I'm from the Philippines that's where I finished my medical degree um, from the Philippines, I left in 2004 and went to the Bahamas for about five years. You know, in the Bahamas, it's, you know, it's a beach, it's nice, uh, but pretty much the same setting. We have people of all, 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 all uh, um, we've got varying socioeconomic st status in society with surgical problems. So could be the rich guy, could be the poor guy, could be somewhere in the middle. We see varying cases of that in the Bahamas as well. That was it. And then so I was in surgery right there in the Bahamas for about five years until I was uh, prodded by my mentor to pursue further training. So he sent me to, sent me packing to Detroit, Wayne State University, which uh, where I did my residency training in general surgery. I graduated 2014. And since then, I think for the most part, I've spent eight years of my private practice here in the Delta. Wow. I was practicing at Phillips County, Helena, West Helena, three, uh, three, uh, three years ago. Oh, well, for three years in starting 2015 to 2018. And then I uh, moved to Greenville, Mississippi from 2018 to 21. And that's where I met uh, one of the doctors that serve here, Doctor uh, in this area. He's a radiologist and that's where he got me here so here i am terrific well we're happy to have you thank you <laughs> uh what inspired you go, to go into medicine well, my mom my, my mom was like a frustrated doctor so um, when i was in high school my mom always prodded me too like, that's when she started hammering me to be a doctor be a doctor my mom is a high school chemistry teacher 
but she wasn't able to finish med school because she got sick and so it's just tough it's just tough work to to stay in med school finish med school it's not just having you know iq and all that it's a lot of hard work a lot of leg work and if you get sick somewhere in between it's going to wear you down pretty much and so not everybody can finish and cross that line but it was my mom who inspired me to be one and going into med school that's when i was uh, able to look at what I'm gonna do next. I got, I fell in love with surgery and I didn't want to do anything else, so that's why. So that's what I'm doing now. Can you, can you tell me about your schedule here at this hospital? I know you're only here a certain uh, day or two a week, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, so we're here every Tuesday. I'm here every Tuesday to provide care. In the morning, that's when we do the operations um, and, in, and after that, essentially there's uh, maybe a, a minute break after we do the, finish the operations, that's when we start the surgery clinic. That's every Tuesday. But even so, uh, I was telling the emergency room doctors around the, uh, around the area when they're on call, even if I'm not here, uh, you could always call me for questions. If you have patients in the area that might need, a, uh, might need surgical uh, issues addressed, then just feel free to give me a call. They have my number, they, uh, you know, they can contact me pretty easily. Uh, my cell phone is available to them 24 seven. So uh, even though I'm not here on a Tuesday, you know, I try to make myself available for questions and, and uh, you know, to answer those need, that need. You got a fascinating work background. You, you mentioned the Delta and, and of course, um, just working here in South Arkansas. What does it mean to you to be able to serve small communities uh, that are that are in desperate need of, of, of high quality medical care? Well, it means a lot to me because uh, there definitely was a need for it. As I'm not sure if it's still the same, but I think it's worse now. The situation is that before I graduated med, uh, in residency for surgery, there are already about a thousand plus counties in the United States that need a general surgeon, at least one, that don't have one. Most of our guys, you know, my classmates who finish training, they stay at the big hospitals. Only a few of us actually go out in, in critical, to critical access areas like Bradley County and, and Phillips County in West Helena or Washington County in Greenville, Mississippi, and now, you know, uh, Bradley County and you know so only a few of us and I found the utility for it because there are a lot of patients that don't have the ability to go far to to go to the big hospitals and so and right now I'm happy where I'm needed you know I'm gonna go where I'm needed and where I'm busy that's where I'm gonna be happy so um, it means a lot it means a lot to me to be able to address a need for for our community, our patient population, uh, whatever you, you 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 deem it as such. I'm not sure about the demographics, but for us anyway, we don't choose patients. We serve everybody that comes through the door, comes through the clinic. Uh, I don't really care if you got a problem and I can help you. I'll provide that uh, I'll provide that service to you no matter what, you know, no matter what the situation is. Is there anything else you would like to share with the general public uh, about your work here? Maybe the staff, so can you talk about the staff perhaps that you're working with here? You got a very good team here. Yeah, you got the equipment. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if, uh, if word gets around that we are providing, you know, some of the wellness services and some of the surgical services in here, and I'm pretty sure we can do a good job. Uh, we can do a good job uh, addressing those issues. And feel free to come. If you guys have a question, the number is open. It's, it's provided for here in, Ashley, uh, in Bradley. And um, I'm more than happy to see you every Tuesday. Um, we schedule you as soon as we decide what, the, what we can do for you. There's not much of delay in that either. So our time is free. We got a, you know, we got a lot of time to give you and, you know, 
serve, 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 serve the interests of the community when it comes to surgical issues. So feel free to come. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. No problem. You're welcome.